Thanks so much. And I had a shower. Okay. <laughs>
this. Yeah, boys. As my pal Bruce Hornsby would say, son, that's just got the stank all over it right there. <laughs> you know what's better than one Neumann microphone? A whole stage full. <laughs> my God, this sounds so great in my head. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I've, I've been a studio rat since I was, Lord, 15, 14, 15 years old, and uh, I even recorded a 78 one time. Now, you won't believe that, but I did. I've been doing this a long time. <laughs> I mean, it's this big. Anyway, um, so I've always had great microphones to listen to with, in headphones. And when I come out on the road and it would, you know, it would sound this big. It's like, especially through those. I'm so glad to see, I mean, they're plugged up, but they are not turned on. Thank the Lord Jesus. We have better technology now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, anyway, 
Wish I'd have known that about 30 years ago. My left ear would probably be a lot better. Uh, having a Fender Twin over on this side and then uh, a steel guitar player over there with two Fender Twins did something to this left ear. I don't know anything like that. That was great getting to sing that, Darren, with you. Darren Vincent right there from the group Daly and Vincent. He uh, worked in my band 11 years, and uh, we had a ball. Just so great. Even though Clay Hess was with us for a while. Clay got down in Darren's bunk one night and waited for him to get in. Clay could compact himself about this size. I mean. I'm not that tall, but huh? I'm not that big anyway. Well, I, a little, little vertically challenged. Yeah, I understand. But so Darren gets in there and put, you know, stretches his feet out and gets in the bunk and waits a few minutes and laying there, the bus is starting. And so Clay just goes, right on top of you. That was not a nice night, no. We lost our deposit on the bus. We had a huge cleaning bill to do. That, that, that's it. <laughs>
Thank you so much. Well, here's a love song for you. I didn't think we'd ever get one. A Kentucky love song. I got a pig on the pen, corn to feed him on. All it needs for a little girl to feed away. Come to romp. We'll do country boy at romp. We'll have our drummer and piano and steel guitar. We're going to play some country at romp in Owensboro in June. You should come. It's going to be a great time. Patty Loveless is going to be our special guest, so that's going to be a, a fun day. And you'll be there, Darren. Yes, you will. Appreciate him. He left his vacation to come out with his old papa and do some shows to help me out. My uh, Dennis Parker, our friend that uh, usually has this gig, had an opportunity to go to Israel for about 10 days. And I said, you need to go. It's a great trip. So he just took off today and went to do that. And Darren said, sure, I'll leave my vacation and come and play with you. I can only imagine the bill. No. It's a good, good man right here. Sure appreciate him, his family. Well, I worked with Ralph Stanley uh, from the time I, well, about, when I was about 15 years old, I, I started working with him. Uh, we worked this summer, I, on our summer vacation from high school. Man, did I not want to go back to school. I said, I can learn all I need to learn right out here. There were some things I didn't need to know out there. Out there with men 40 years older than me. But uh, anyway, but I had to go back to school. And uh, so we, after I got out of school, we were 16 and uh, joined the band full time. We were full-fledged clinch mountain boys we got the flowery gold and red coats i really wish i had mine back i could probably put some seams in the side and make it fit somehow but <laughs> anyway just need to go to cincinnati that's where we bought them there's a street there that's got all these shoes and coats on it need to go do that
Crank it up. All right. But Ralph used to sing this song a lot, and this is a great Stanley Brothers song, and uh, my mom and dad used to sing this in church, and uh, if it wasn't for my mom and dad, I, I wouldn't be here. For real. I look just like both of them. You know, I love them and I miss them. They're in heaven. They don't miss me. That's right. No missing in heaven. But every time I sing this song, I sure do think about them. My dad would shut his eyes and I used to say, I will never do that. Dad, that just looks so weird for you to shut your eyes and sing. I never told him that. But now, guess what? Come back on me. So to the degree you judge. <laughs> It'll judge you. Frank Stranger. I wandered again to my home in the mountain where in youth's early Thank y'all so much. Appreciate that.
Man, I hope they don't fire me someday. Get a new mandolin player. I'm so happy just to be around all these young kids up here just wearing me out, just pushing me. I like that. I need, I need it. Keeps me, uh, keeps me hoping I can keep going. Is that you? That is you, isn't it? Man? That's you. Hey, hey, man. What's up, man? <laughs> Good to see you, boy. I know that one must have been so great last night. Eric, Steve, Dole Dykes. Just stupid, ridiculous people, players. Wish I could have been here. But uh, we had to do the Grand Ole Opry. <laughs> hey, not a bad thing. Been a member there since 1982. Yeah, 82. So. I was the youngest guy there when I first came. Dang. Yeah. Ain't no that way no more. I'm about six from the oldest now, I think so. Anyway. But uh, no, I wanted, I wanted to just tell you, and, and we want to thank Sennheiser, too, for, for this great G3 system that we have. Man, it is so awesome. And Dewey Boyd runs my house out there. He and Grant Hartford up here on stage, they put this system together, and uh, it's just the best of the best, I swear. It just keeps getting better all the time. You guys, I really appreciate y'all. They're amazing. I wouldn't know where to push the put the first plug. I just say, just stand, please stand away from the <laughs> from from the system. Okay, nothing to see here, Rick. So uh, anyway, all I got to do is put these uh, earphones in, and I'm ready to go. So I'm so thankful for them. Yeah, fiddle mic, KS KS 104. Yeah, oh, whoa, yes, and these and and Jake, I like your uh, your. Two color, tri, uh, 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 double color uh, 184s there. That's, that's great. Doesn't that guitar sound great? Yeah. Fiddle. Yes, you, you're Mr. Sennheiser Mike back there. Yes, you are. And uh, got 104s here. Paul, you got you. Yes, Sennheiser. And you are a Sennheiser duo there. And, and Russ. Got to a 49 over there. And uh, we're just grateful for, for Neumann and, and Sennheiser. They, we just appreciate them so much uh, getting to take this stuff on the road. And my good friends from Triad Orbit, this is the baddest of all bad microphone stands. I don't know if you know much about these, but I'll tell you one thing. They are the best. They're just incredible. They're a little heavy, and I'm glad I don't have to lift, but they don't move. So that's a good thing. And you can make them about this wide and put all kind of stuff. I'm gonna put me a, a, my little cup holder there for coffee and my water and stuff. And one of these days when I can't remember a whole lot, I'm gonna have my, my little uh, you know, iPad uh, stand there so I can. Next song, next song. You don't have to touch it that hard, okay, really. Just, oh, thanks. Okay. But, uh, Hey, let's do, let's do another instrumental. I feel like picking another one. This is one I wrote a long time ago, um, and uh, we call it Ancient Tones.
Uh-huh. Well, since I'm thanking a lot of folks today, I want to thank my good friends Diadario for all their good strings and tuners and all the cool things that they have. Got one of these little sound hole tuners. It's so bad. It's awesome. Man. It works. Yeah, I had an older sister in the house, okay? That's all, that's all I know. I would stand in the middle of the hallway. Mom and Dad would have the Stanley Brothers, Lister Flat, World Scruggs, Bill Monroe, head in that direction. Oh, sis, boy, she'd have the Beatles, Rolling Stones, it was cranked up back there, and I could, I liked both of them. I could hear similarities. A little louder down there, but uh, <laughs> that's all right. My friend Lloyd Bags, too, for these lyric pickups, man. I, I love them. I love them so much. All my guitars. So, I'm going to do you a few songs here that... Uh, from a CD called Mosaic. Me and my friend Gordon Kennedy uh, produced this record together. And uh, Gordon is songwriter's songwriter. He wrote Change the World for Eric Clapton. That's some mailbox money right there, son, I won't tell you. Now that just, that was some mailbox money. Yeah. He wrote that song, and then he wrote a song with me called You Can't Hurt Ham. Man, he went way down. So. That's what he gets for writing with a hillbilly. So, all right, this, uh, as a Christian, I, I, uh, you know, we have to fight sometimes for peace. We have to fight in our, not in, in the natural, not, not with, you know, because we wrestle not with flesh and blood. There is a spiritual war in the heavens. Or had, did you not get that memo? I think so. All right, there it is. It's always been a, always been a fight and a fuss between uh, good and evil and woe to a nation that calls evil good and good evil. I'm just saying it. Sounds like something. And, uh, but sometimes you just have to quieten yourself from all the noise and listen to the shepherd's voice. That's what I love about this song. I hope you like it. Now when I was fresh from God, the first thing I heard as I came into this life, the sound of fear ringing in my ear, my own voice, life hit me and I cried as I grew through the years, the course of temptation beckoned me to come and sing a part. Jesus was a name that rolled from my mammal's tongue and settled in my heart. For what I'm listening for through all the noise, a whisper in my ear, the shepherd's voice, the confusion that the bustle brings. Pretty song the siren sings, the sound of teeth against forbidden fruit. The groaning man who screams in pain, the groaning earth beneath the strings. Who could hope to ever hear the truth? What I'm listening for through all the noise. A whisper in my ear, the shepherd's voice. I 
will close my eyes and let my spirit still till I hear the sun. What I'm listening for through all the noise, a whisper in my ear, the shepherd's voice. Whisper in my ear, the shepherd's voice. Thank you all so much. We sure appreciate Sweetwater having us today. Cool gig. Literally nice. We appreciate them, what they stand for, and their service quality. I called my son yesterday. I said, yeah, Dad, I'm going to, or I said, I'm going to be going up uh, to work at Sweetwater tomorrow, Luke. He said, oh, man, I love Sweetwater. They're the nicest people. Man, he said, their customer service is just awesome. I said, well, what'd you do? He said, well, 
He said, I had an amp. I got an amp. I was making payments on it and everything. And, and you know, he's young, you know, great player. But like a lot of musicians, you have to make payments on stuff. But anyway, he, uh, he said, you know, it just started gurgling and growling. It, was, it just wasn't, you know, like it was supposed to be when I first got it. And, and uh, he said it was really out of warranty. But I called him and I said, is there anything y'all could do about this amp? He said, what's it doing? And so he told him what, they, what it was doing. He said, well, hey, I know it's out of warranty, but we, we, wanna, we want you to be satisfied with our stuff. He said, send it to me. And, and they sent it to him, and, and they sent him a brand new amp. <laughs> so just thanks for being nice to him. He didn't know who it was. It didn't matter, but it could have been anybody. But that's how, how they are. So I, I, that's what's made them like they are. So I appreciate it. You folks over on this side, I need you to sing with me, okay? All right. You're going to be the Hayes, the Hayes family. All right, the Hayes. All right. You folks over on this side, not quite so nice for you, but you're going to be the hoes. Sorry about that. It just worked out that way. Next time you come to see me, you may want to sit on this side if you don't want to be... Um, so, <laughs> anyway, I will, uh, this, you know, this thing blew up after we did, we opened up the, well, did the CMA Awards show and, and, and did this song, did about a minute and a half of it, and I think these young kids thought some aliens had uh, come down from, from a spaceship and come on, on the stage. Y'all are really playing instruments, right? This is not like a track, you're, you're, really, my goodness. So, uh, yeah, it's... You ought to try it. Well, we have. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, here we go. Black Eyed Susie. <laughs> Kentucky Thunder. Thank you, boys. Thank you all so much. God bless you. Thanks for hosting this. We appreciate it. <laughs>